Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe that we are already in the new year. So this is gonna be my first video of 2024. Now, before we get into my regular cash stuffing, I wanted to share with you my personal financial goals for the new year. Now, the first thing that I have is to save $10,000 for my home expenses. I'll be a homeowner very soon. And what that means is that it comes with a lot of expenses and taxes that I have to save up for. So my goal is $10,000. However, I'm breaking it into chunks because I'm following the 12 week year rule. What that is, is that instead of thinking about your year as being 12 months, January to December, think of a year as only being 12 weeks or three months. So basically, if my goal is $10,000 by the end of 2024, I'm hoping to save up at least $3,000 within 12 weeks. So that's helping me break up my goals into chunks and that's really really easy for me to kind of like get ahead and plan out for my year a little bit better supposedly this is the plan that really helps you achieve your goals a bit more so that's my goal for the first three months or the first quarter of 2024 save up three thousand dollars to be able to save up a total of ten thousand dollars by the end of 2024 now my next goal is to be able to save my money for taxes in advance so what i did was that i made a new account and I nicknamed it taxes. So every month, a certain amount of money would be automatically withdrawn from my account, deposited into my taxes account, so that by the time that taxes roll around, I won't be panicking like I normally do to, to pay off my taxes. I usually panic around September, October, November, December, and that's when I start to scramble and penny pinch for my money to be able to save up for my taxes. But I'm gonna go with this strategy because it's kind of automatic, I don't have to think about it, it's taken care of without me having to scramble like I do every single year. Now, my other one is to make sure that I finish my big box savings challenge and my other savings challenge as well. But that's a great segue in today's cash stuffing. So I have this envelope here and I actually wrote down exactly what I wanted to do with the money, unlike my other chaotic cash stuffings that you've seen. So let's get started. So we have 50, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 650, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 700, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 750, and 1. So 751,031 is what we'll be cash stuffing for today. I have so many goals and aspirations for 2024. And I'm really excited because I have already started my journey early. I think that's the main thing. Like you don't start right when it hits January 1st. You start a little bit before so you get used to the habit. So the first thing that we're going to do is cash stuff our pink long-term binder. Now, I did make some new challenges, but they're actually in my other binder, which I'll show you guys soon. But basically, my partner finally decided what he wanted for Christmas, and it was just a few games for his PlayStation. And I actually saved more than what I spent. So the additional money that, um, or the remaining money that I have is just going to be used towards his birthday. So I already have some money in his birthday binder. So let's take this out. So for his birthday, I have 130,000 cream one prepared to put in here. So let's see. That's 100. Uh, one, two, three. So that's 130,000 cream one that I can add towards his birthday fund. Ricky. Oh, Ricky. Sorry about that, guys. My cat just jumped on the table and was just super curious as to what I was doing. So we just cashed up 130,000 green one in here. So let's go ahead and color. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh my goodness, is that actually going to take so long? I actually kind of regret using blue now. Because now you can't really see the um, happy faces. 
but that's okay. His birthday is actually in April, uh, not April, <laughs> August. So we have quite a bit of time left. But I really want to take uh, a trip for his birthday because it's prime time for traveling season when his birthday rolls around. And there are some countries that he's never been to that I would love to show him. So this is how much we have saved up. And we're like just about halfway. Just about halfway. I don't want to put this in just school yet just because it's still dry. Okay. I think it's good now. Alright. So we are done with our pink binder for now. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on our savings challenges and our short-term binder. Now... I actually started um, taking some new Korean classes. Um, I just hired a tutor and it's just for a test that I'll be taking soon. So that's gonna be 240,000 Korean won. I didn't make an envelope for this because I wasn't expecting it. It was kind of like a last minute decision. But um, for, I'm actually gonna take this one out. This is just a blank template that I have for any other type of savings that I want. But I actually don't want to start tracking my savings for my um, Korean classes because I just don't want to. So I'll just put this money in here for my classes. 50, 100, 150, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4. 244 Korean classes. This is actually my... Um, birthday it's not a birthday gift christmas present from uh from kevin because you know it's expensive but he was happy to give me this as a christmas present to help pay for my korean classes so korean classes is 240,000 korean one that has been stuffed now the other savings challenges that i have is my monthly savings if you remember i kind of made a mistake when i was making this the months the title of this savings tracker was cut off because <laughs> i i just cut it wrong but basically, my goal is to save 100,000 Korean won per month. Now, instead of coloring it in, I'm just going to cross it out. So let's do 150, 100. Let's put this in here. And we're just going to cross January out. I feel like we have a really good start going on. And then we also have the 52 week challenge. If you see this one, I made this and each week is represented by a heart. And it's because it's the first week of January, we're gonna just cross off this first heart here. And this is why we have the 1,000 free one here. There you go. Now, the rest of the money that I have, which is 130,000 Korean won, I believe. Let's check. 100, 200, 250, 280. Actually, 280,000 Korean left. My one thing is, I actually took out some money, left it in my pocket for the longest time, and forgot the reason why I took the money out. So, now I have... This additional money i think what i'm going to do is maybe 100 will go towards um 100 will go towards my credit card bill so i'll just take that out and put it to the side and then the rest is what i will cash stuff now my challenge is here is going to be again trying to finish my big box of savings challenges so let's pull her out if you remember, this is the sheet that I have <laughs> um, to track my envelopes. So because I have quite a bit of money left, we're just going to try and finish this off. So the first one that we have is 60,000 cream one. So let me try and find that envelope. All right. Oops, where is it? Okay, there you go. Is 60,000 Korean one, so we're just gonna put 60. 50, 16. Mm. 
And let's cross this one off. And then the next one, I have 90. Do I have enough for 90? I don't have enough bills for 90. So let's pass that. I do have 100, though. How about we just go ahead and just get that done with? So let's go ahead and put 100 in my savings challenge. 100. And cross that off. And I have 20,000 for one left. So I do have 20,000 right there. Just gonna make sure that it is the right one. Cause I don't wanna go out of order. 10,000. Oh, I mean, this is one. We're just gonna put these two in here. We just did one, two, three envelopes in today's video. That's amazing. That's actually a lot of progress, more than I thought. <laughs> but just to give you a recap as to what my envelopes look like now, like they're almost done. Look at that. Now, this column has a lot of numbers left, but, you know, I'm confident that I'll be able to, um, you know, complete them hopefully before summertime and there you have it that is my cash stuffing for january 2024 at least just for this video i plan to you know put out more content for you guys thank you so much for supporting me and watching my channel i'll give you guys updates on my financial journey so far Again, please comment, like, and subscribe. Give me any ideas. I'm still working on that giveaway. We're close to 200 subscribers. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.